All right, so we've pretty much edited our form, we've made our rubric, and now we're ready to enter some of the data. Um, so like I said, I emailed this um, form to myself, so just in the email I can see the form ready to go. Um, when you submit your first one, it's gonna take you to a new page and you can um, continue to go ahead and enter your um, information there. Um, so I think this is really nice, especially if you're um, listening to a speech and you're just kind of filling out the information as you go. Um, you can go ahead and enter the student's name. Um, you can then like just either on an iPad or on a computer, just go ahead and select um, the, the scores for each, sec for each section. Um, and then hit submit. Again, because we hit that submit another response um, option when we were creating the form, I can just click this and then do the next student. Um, when I am ready, ready, ready to go, um, I am going to go back to my drive. So you can just go ahead and log back into your drive. Um, and then when I'm ready to look at the data, I'm just going to go ahead and look for not the rubric test because that's just going to bring up the form editor, um, but what we named our um, spreadsheet that all the data went to. Um, and I'm going to click that and remember it was called responses. And so I had entered a couple ones prior to, um, but you can see here they will timestamp each one of the entries. This is helpful, especially if you're using the form um, for student uh, surveys. Uh, you can see kind of like when they responded, especially if you had a due date for that uh, survey. Um, but you'll notice that everything um, in categories is pretty much linked up. So they have the names already here. Um, then they have the introduction, population, and all their scores um, as as it continues down the list. Um, from there, we can do a lot of different things. Um, for example, um, we can take this information um, and uh, average it. We can um, then go ahead and make um, histograms and stuff like that that you normally would use a uh, spreadsheet for. But all the information is going to be there. And uh, if I continue to use this rubric every single time, I do like a reoccurring um, uh, whether that be a recurring exam, a paper, or a speech, I can then have throughout the whole semester and or a year, I can have all the information into this one spreadsheet. Um, and then I can use that to uh, track growth. So I could um, group, I can filter the names so that I'm only looking at, like say for example, Johnny. Um, and I can see how uh, Johnny's introduction has progressed throughout the year. Um, and I can compare that obviously by looking at the timestamps to see like when it was entered. So which was his first, second, or third um, response, okay? Um, the, the next video is gonna deal with um, spreadsheets. Um, how to use those effectively. So once I've gathered my data using forms, what can I do to kind of really um, show um, either student growth or just kind of uh, be able to see where the problems area uh, problem areas are um, so that I can address those in class so I can react to my data to uh, help the students out. Okay, uh, so that's going to be the next video that I discuss. Thank you.